We are hanging out, Steamboat Springs, Colorado Music Fest this year, and Carson Jeffrey with us. Man, I have been dying to talk to you. I don't think I've ever got a chance to chat with you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, and thanks for uh, having me on today. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, you were here last year, weren't you? Yes, this is my third year on the bill, I believe. I've been up here six years just hanging out, but this is my third year on the to be on the Really? Show, so yes, so you've done like the listening room area or down in town somewhere else? Uh, the previous years you're talking yeah. about? Yeah, uh, I started out in the open mic just in the Dung what? Beetle and uh, just picking around down there. And then, uh, yeah, we've done some acoustic shows. We were full band up here last year and uh, just acoustic this year. But, yeah, it's always fun at Steamboat. This it is where it all started for me, so. So it's got a special place in your heart there. Sure does, yeah, right there in the Dung Beetle, uh, the open mic, you know, that was uh, one, kind of the first places I ever picked a guitar in front of people, so. Really? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you wouldn't know that seeing you play on stage. Yeah. Like, well, you are quite the entertainer. I appreciate it. You're fun to watch, and you're a rodeo guy, too. I am, yep, yep. I still uh, rope during the week pretty much every day when I'm home, but. We don't get to uh, interrupt much anymore since we're on the road so much. You know, but. it's like you have to choose music or rodeo you stuff, do, right? You do, but uh, I'm doing a pretty good job of doing both. <laughs> Just uh, not so competitive anymore in the rodeo world. Now, I remember seeing something last year that you did, and I was like, I was out of town. I couldn't go to it. But you did like this goat roping right before your show? I did in show? Stephenville. In yes. Stephenville. Yeah, we had a goat roping out there, and uh, I think that was at like 5 o'clock or something, and then... I think uh, the openers went on like eight or something, but it, it was a really great time. We had a good turnout and perfect place to do it in Stephenville. Oh, hundred so. <laughs> percent! You're at the rodeo capital oh, of the yeah. world down there. They they know what's going on with the goat rope. Yes, up there. <laughs> that's something that I think people have no idea about is like right. how intense goat roping can oh, yeah. be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This year or last year we had the goat roping, and then this year. Uh, we ended up doing a dummy roping inside of the twist. Oh my gosh! And uh, I ended up winning it. So. So you can win your own event. I did, you know. I, People call that rigged some places. Well, we were high call on the short go, and <laughs> I asked the, the guy, uh, Brandon, the one I was roping with, he was healing, and I said, "Hey, man, like, we're high calls. Like, you want to maybe throw it away and let the second guys win?" And I said, "I don't know if I should win my own roping." And, He's like, yeah, we could do that. He's like, it'd kind of be cool to win it too, though. And I was like, well, let's, let's win it then. <laughs> so did you keep your own buckle or did you give it back? I kept my own buckle because <laughs> the second place was a pretty good prize, too. It was a $100 bar tab. So I was oh, like, well, that's man. pretty good. I'm going to keep the buckle. <laughs> yeah. Let that guy have some beers. That's right. right? That's right. <laughs> well, you've been on the road. Like, this past year, musically, you have been extremely busy. Yeah, the past couple of years, it's been really crazy. You know, it just keeps cranking up. Um, and then this year, we've we've been in the studio really hard, or this past year now. I keep yeah. forgetting it's a new year. Yeah, it's it feels weird. Like, it's January, what, 8th? And I know. it still it feels like 2023 to yep, me. Yep, But, yeah, we've been in the studio hard the past three months or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got a new single coming out January 19th, uh, Mrs. Lonely. Yes. And... Um, so that'll be the first one that drops, and then we've got a lot more coming all year long. So. Do you get excited, like, when you're going to release one and you haven't released one for a couple of months? Do you get, like, giddy like a little kid? It's like Christmas to you? Yeah, well, it's been uh, right about a year since I've released anything, actually. We were just touring so hard and kind of got in a touring just yeah. momentum, and we just weren't thinking about recording. And so it's been a while, and so, yeah, I'm extremely excited to get new music out. Where'd you record this at? Uh, we changed it up a little. We've been in Nashville the past couple times, but now we've done everything the past few months um, in Austin, Texas, as well as Dripping Springs, Texas, yeah. uh, with our, our new producer, uh, Mr. David Beck. And, uh, man, he's been awesome. We're really excited about what we've been working on. Does that make it hard, like, finding a producer that really fits your style? Um, I mean, the producers we've worked with in the past have been awesome. Um, but David, uh, I don't know, it just... I just told him, I was like, man, I just want to come home. I just want to come home to Texas and make some music. Yeah. And that's exactly what we've done. And he's uh, he's been awesome. It's been a perfect fit. So So what's your favorite song that you play live at shows right now? Favorite song we play live? Uh, man, I don't know. Ranch Girl's kind of the fan favorite. So Yeah, people go um, a little nuts for that. Yeah, I mean, that's always fun Like because we play it almost last in the set. And uh, it's kind of fun after a long night of being up on stage and you know, if it's it's a really great crowd and you can just kind of sit back and take it in for a moment while they kind of sing the words back to you. So, but that's probably one of the, the highs there. How did you know that you wanted to like do this full time? I had no idea. Really? <laughs> You're just like, ah, I just, I'm doing something fun. Yeah, and no, I was just, a, I was a rodeo kid and, and in college, uh, 
just a huge fan of music. Always have been. Yeah. And then honestly, coming up here that first year, and I played the open mic, and just seeing all the musicians walking around, and you're right here with them, you yes. know, mingling with them. And I was like, man, I think I could do that, you know, or at least give it a try. Just put out some music, and that's all I did. I just put out the the first album for fun, which had Ranch Girl on it and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we never turned back. I don't think I ever really said this is what I'm going to do. It's just what I did. It just kind of kept going on. <laughs> I guess was your last, the Fairweather Cowboy? Was that the last That thing? was our last album. Yeah. That's, okay. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago yeah, that that came out. Yeah, it's been a year. Holy cow. Uh, time flies too being yeah. a DJ. I mean, yeah. we do so much traveling to the studio, right? right? Oh, yeah. We're on oh, the yeah. road just as much. <laughs> <I'm> just <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> so who does the driving for y'all? Mostly me, yeah. No, mostly oh. me. I do about, I'd say 95% of the driving. Um, my drummer, Chase Chancellor, he, he helps me drive quite a bit. Uh, Travis, my guitar player, drives sometimes. But mainly like the night drives, it's me. If we're driving all night long, I mean... I don't know. I just, How do you, what do you like, just drink a bunch of caffeine and load up? Sunflower and go? seeds. Sunflower seeds. Yeah, that's the trick. You can't, if you got a good podcast on and sunflower seeds, you can drive coast to coast. No. <laughs> The talky sunflower seeds. I don't know about if you like the crazy flavors or no, the original. No, gosh, no. That put me to sleep or <laughs> make me spit them out. I don't know. I, uh, I'm all, all original. All original. So <laughs> yeah. you don't do any of the crazy just, flavors. No, just good old salt. Good old salt. <laughs> That's probably great for going down the road. It's great. Real healthy. You yeah. Know? You know, your sodium level goes up. Everything just works yeah, out perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty good at it. Just sitting back and being safe. So. So where do you find the best inspiration for your songs, like writing style-wise? It was funny. I was talking with another guy today just about writing, and I was like, I haven't written a song in a few months, really. And uh, it just – I know there's people that say you got to write every day. Yeah. And I'm just not one of those people. I just can't. I can't just pull it out of me. You know, it's got to be it's something be right that moment. hits me or, the, or an idea. And, uh, and I've tried to really hone in on that more as my career has gone on, just – when I got it, then write it. Yeah. But if I'm not, you know, finding something, I'm not going to just make myself write it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for your new stuff that's going to be coming out it. this year. You bet. And uh, you, did you make jewelry or like? I do. You still do? I still do. Yep. Was that like a pastime that just turned into like a? That was my, uh, I guess that's kind of what I did for money, like uh, all through college and stuff. I did leather work and I, uh, I still do leather work, but also still do silver work and did it through college and stuff uh, as a full-time business really yeah and then when the music got going i mean it's it's a lot of time in that and i just didn't have a lot of time so, so that's extremely creative so you've yeah. always had this creative mind yeah i do uh cuffs and stuff and buckles and all kinds of stuff pendants um but uh yeah i just don't sell much of it anymore just for friends and family yeah you gotta People keep that it know small. i do it then i'll do it for you, <laughs> <laughs> i get that because yes, you know got to send you down the road still That's to right. do some music stuff yep. so yeah well um next time you're in fort worth we need to have you into the studio let's I'd do love it for to sure. have you in there i'd love to be up there uh you've done some skiing out here or snowboarding skiing i did snowboarding one time and i lasted one day not because i was wiping out but i was exhausted it's a lot of work it is. It's like when you get slow, you got to like unstrap and push and then all the rolling over. <laughs> and I was like, I'm worn out. I went back to skis. So. <laughs> so that's what you do when you're here. That's what I do. So I've been asking everybody or trying to. So the Olympics are coming up. We've got the summer games. Okay. If you were to try to go gold in any of the sports in the Olympics or add a sport to the Olympics, what would you do? Oh, man. Uh well, I probably wouldn't be good at any of the sports that are already there. So, so you'd add one. What would <laughs> Let's you add? Let's add one. I know they did rodeo like one year at it. I think uh, they had like calf roping because I know Joe Beaver. I think he yeah. was at that. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's put some rodeo back in it. That's what Josh Ward said too. Yeah, he's like, put some team roping in there, and I'm might in. as well. They Let's need do a little it. of that. We need some cowboy stuff in there. Yeah cowboy bringing it back come on with it <laughs> well carson thank you so much for your time y'all be looking thank for you. new music for him follow him on social media so you can follow his journey and he'll let you know when all the new stuff is coming out but the new single the 19th so 19th. not this friday but next friday that's right yep mrs lonely